Drummer Matt Sorum is continuing to stay busy while Velvet Revolver continue to search for a replacement for lead vocalist after Scott Weiland's departure. After the success of the opening of his clothing boutique Sorum Noche in Hollywood earlier this year, Sorum and his partner have plans of expanding to Las Vegas and Milan. Sorum, who started the clothing line with his partner and fashion designer Max Noche, will look to branch out and take Sorum Noche overseas as well as hit the ever-growing Vegas market. We caught up with Matt recently, who was in the process of celebrating the success of his clothing line, to get his thoughts on expanding Sorum Noche. He wants to go to Milan because the spaghetti's better. <laughs> Close to his mama. Now, uh, we actually, we have been talking about putting a store in Vegas because uh, for retail, it's one of the biggest places in the world now. So many people go to Vegas and either spend their money gambling or shopping or whatever. So we've been talking, we've had some talks with some people about going there. So that's very exciting, you know. Matt Sorum continues to have his hand in multiple projects during Velvet Revolver's downtime producing the debut album for the Darling Stilettos, as well as trying to replace the volatile Scott Weiland in Velvet Revolver. Weiland has since returned to Stone Temple Pilots after a much publicized split from Sorum and Company. In a recent interview, bassist Duff McKagan dispelled the earlier reports that Royston Langdon, former lead vocalist of Space Hog, would be joining the band. As of press time, the search continues, and the band is reportedly working on new material, gathering inspiration from their confrontational split from Scott Weiland.